As many of you know, I love to fly fish for big pike and musky, and there's nothing better than catching them on topwater flies like this. This is a fairly new pattern that was put out by real flies called the Salty Jack. Um, obviously has saltwater applications, but what's unique about it is it's got this little straw here or tube, which is perfect for putting wire through and putting different types of hooks on it. A lot of people wonder how to use this. Let me show you how easy it is to use for freshwater applications. So what I've done is I've got some real bite wire here, 30 pounds, probably my favorite, easy to tie knots with. And what I've done is I've already pre-cut a length of it. This one's uh, just about two feet long, which is what I like to do. And what I'll uh, do is put a loop in it, this end, attach it loop to loop to my leader, which is typically 50 pound heavy mono, six, six to eight foot length. So I take the salty jack, which is really lightweight and easy to cast. You thread that through the tube and push it all the way through. I get it on the other side. There it is there. Go all the way down there to the loop. Okay, now put that to the side. Now, some people don't like to do this, but I do. I like to use treble hooks because a lot of the times, a big pike, you get a single hook, it's going to come down, and especially the big, powerful pike and musky, they got wide heads, powerful jaws, and when they come down in that hook, if it's a single hook, it's going like, to go flat, and I've stripped the fly many times and got nothing. <clears throat> if you're using a treble hook, it goes right in the corner of the mouth. And for those that are worried about hurting the fish, I've never hurt one with this, and, and as we all know, a lot of times you need to get the smaller pike. And the way I do that is I make sure, I use you know, some good quality hooks here, but if I can't find the ones that are barbless, I make them barbless. So I get myself uh, a nice pair of pliers like this. I've already made all these barbless except for the last one here. And I just take it and I squeeze it down and give it a couple times. And there, it's all squeezed down and it comes out so easy, whether it's a big pike or usually the problem is the smaller pikes. Now take a wire, and put a loop in it like that, thread it through, a little bit of clinch knot, and I'll wind this five times like that. Take the tag end, put it through the loop, and then pull it tight. And you have to usually move, use your fingers to pull that tight. And then I trim it. But the key is I've now got this attached. I won't trim this one yet, but I've got it attached. Tighten it up. I like to take the pliers and give it a little pull here on the tag. But let's go back to the main fly. I run it down, pull it tight in there, and voila, you're all set to go. You can cast that all day, no problems. It's a very effective popper. Pike comes up, grabs it, turns. It'll get one of those hooks, and a lot of the times the fly's gonna come right out of the mouth, and you're just gonna have them by the teeth. Or say that again. You got it. Pike comes up, gonna grab it, you're going to set the hook. A lot of times the fly is going to come out and you're just going to have that hook in the corner of the mouth. And with this barbless, it's easy to get out. If you get a smaller pike and they get it a little deeper down, again, same thing. Just use long pliers and pop it out. All I have to do, finalize this, is just cut this off. And what's really great with this wire system, you just trim off, cut it right here, and I'll do it right now. Boom. I cut it off. I can go to a smaller hook, a single hook, whatever the case may be, but the versatility of these salty jacks is you can change the type of hook system you want to use based on the species, size of the fish, etc. Great, great fly. We really like them here, especially in the orange and the chartreuse, and sometimes we'll take a permanent marker and actually put little squiggle lines on them or even darken them up if the case uh, 
requires it to be, because sometimes black really works well. But these two colors are our favorite. Deadly fly, we strongly recommend it. Thank you.